everyone, this is Josie. I'm the curator of horticulture at Lanza Chinese Garden, and today I wanted to touch base about Earth Day. Um, so at Lansu, we have a really nice system set in place with um, something called Integrated Pest Management, or IPM, which allows us um, to treat our garden with organic practices um, and make sure that what we're doing is sustainable and we can bring in beneficial insects instead of using chemical pesticides to control um, any of the pest problems we have in the garden. Um, another really neat thing that we have in the garden are mason bee hotels. And mason bees are a type of solitary bee um, that build their nest with mud, and so that's the name mason bee. So today I wanted to give you a closer look at these cool pollinators, which are really important for our earth. So here I have one of the mason bees. You can see how small they are if you're used to looking at honeybees. Um, the males are going to hatch out first and about two weeks later the females will accompany them. Um, they're one of the first pollinators that come out in springtime. They come out way before honeybees do. Um, and so they can pollinate all the crops that have the flowers open early. So compared to honeybees, um, mason bees are a native species to North America. Um, they also tend to pollinate a lot more plants than um, a honeybee does. So honeybee only pollinates about 5% of the flowers they visit, whereas a mason bee pollinates 95%. And that's due to the fact that they pollinate with um, something called scopa on their chest. So they basically they belly flop onto a flower and collect the pollen on their chest and stomach. Whereas other types of bees like honeybees or bumblebees, they selectively collect pollen in pollen sacs on their legs. So you can get a lot more pollination done with a mason bee. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you can come join us at Lansu and celebrate good bugs in the garden with us.